Hi there guys, welcome to this week's episode of the ultimate guide to putting a Zetec engine inside a Fiesta. This week, transmission. First of all, before we start, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody. I've had loads of comments on Instagram and Facebook and on YouTube here. So please keep the comments coming, keep the ideas coming, keep all the messages coming. Love to read them, love to answer them. Uh, and we'll try and get all the help and information we can for anybody else trying to do this job. Like I said, this week we're going to be doing transmission. So gearboxes, drive shafts, clutch, flywheel, all those pieces. And then how to actually get them inside the car. So let's start with the gearbox. Right, the gearbox that I'm going to be using is this one. And this one is what's called an IB5 gearbox. This particular one comes from a Ford Escort from 95 to 00, which means it is the Mark VI Escort. Um, this gearbox is a fairly popular gearbox. So it was used in quite a lot of Escorts and quite a lot of Fiestas as well. Um, the main thing you want to look at when choosing your gearbox is this and that is where the starter motor fits if we look at the gearbox as it would be seated in the car so the engine will be there uh, what you'll have is that you've got the engine here so you'll have the the exhaust going out this side of the gearbox if you do decide to put the turbo in there which which isn't my plan at the moment then the problem you'll have if you've got the starter motor here is that when the exhaust comes down the starter motor will be in the way of the exhaust if you've got it on this side it's not a problem anymore so that is what you really want to look at on this type of gearbox you can fit a gearbox with a starter motor on this side but you have to have a different starter motor and i think that comes from a transit van um, the one i'm using here comes from an escort uh, so i don't have any problems with that right this gearbox is pretty standard and has the same bolt pattern as the ZTEC engine. So it's a direct replacement onto that car. So now we've got the gearbox sourced. What we need after that is a flywheel. Now this flywheel again comes from an Escort. And this is from, I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's from the 18, 1.8 RS 16 valve version. And it's from a 1996 model. Um, so again, the Mark V, Mark VI will be just about the same thing. There are two things we need to think about when choosing the flywheel. The first one is that it has this smooth surface on here. Now this one does have a slight bit of surface rust on there, so that it will be cleaned up before I fit a clutch to it. But it needs to have a surface on there. There are other flywheels out there for the Mark V and Mark VI Escort, but they have one major difference, and that is that they have an edge running around here, as you can see by the picture. Uh, and that edge means that you won't be able to use it with this clutch. So make sure you get one with this smooth surface. It does have, and you probably can't see it on film, but one of these bolts is slightly offset, meaning that it will actually fit on the ZTEC engine in one place only. Um, what I'm looking at is the bolts that came with it, which are those ones, look slightly shallow. So I'm not sure if they're going to be all right. I may have to get some new bolts for that, um, but I'll find that out when I start putting the gearbox and the engine together. The next thing we need to look at is on the back side of it. And what we're looking at here is all of these little holes around the edge here. They are not there for show purposes and they're not there for lightning either. What we're looking for is that one there, which is slightly bigger. Now that one there is very, very important because that one there tells the sensor that the engine and the crank is at top dead center so as this flywheel is spinning around it's noticing all of these holes here and eventually it'll get to this spot which is a large hole and at that point the sensor knows that the crank is now at top dead center and i can start firing uh, sparks for the spark plugs so that's what we need to look at on the back of here right obviously what needs to then be fitted to this flywheel is a clutch otherwise we can't go anywhere the clutch that fits this flywheel is from the RS Turbo or the Escort GTI, but 
The main thing you want to look at is that you get one of the right size, which is 210 millimeters. Uh, it's very important that size, otherwise it won't fit. Obviously get a clutch kit and you'll be able to get the release bearing as well. Um, I've ordered one, so it's on its way. I did actually say on the, on the internet that I could get one that fitted the IB5 gearbox. So now I've got the gearbox, I've got the engine, I've got the flywheel, the clutch is on its way. As soon as that arrives, I'll be able to bolt the flywheel to the engine and then bolt the clutch to the flywheel and I'll start to be able to put the gearbox onto the engine. Dead simple. All I need to do then is just, is just chuck it straight into Alice then, isn't it? Oh, well, I wish it was that easy. Of course it's not going to be that easy, is it? And here's the reason why. And it's that. The gearbox inside the Mark 1 Fiesta is only a four-speed. We're missing a gear. So, the problem is then that the little engine that's in Alice here is a 1.1. The ZTEC engine over there is slightly longer, which means that the whole engine and the gearbox will move this way slightly. Well, of course, we've only got a small gap there. We've got a fifth gear to go in there and we also need to move it a couple of centimeters this way so it's not going to work is it what's going to happen is this gearbox moves about two centimeters this way and then we've got a fifth gear to go on there as well and we're going to hit the chassis leg so what i need to do is cut out here of this chassis leg all the way around there and then i need to box that chassis leg up once i've cut that out to stop it from folding this leg up completely so once I took that section out of there, I'll then need to put a piece of plate around it and fill it all in. And then obviously the engine's base is going to be cleaned because it's horrible and it's going to be repainted to match the rest of this beautiful shiny paintwork. The next problem we've got is right down there, as you can see, there's a tie bar there that connects to the front suspension. Well, if we move this gearbox another two centimeters that way and we add on a fifth gear, we're going to hit that tie bar. Well, there is a solution to that. And this is the solution. You may have seen this already in one of my other videos. If you haven't, go and check it out. But this is a tie bar relocating kit. It's come from the very capable Shane Baker, who has it up on his website. I'll put a link up here, and I'll put one in the description of it. Um, but this basically moves the original tie bar position over a few centimeters it then allows this beautiful bar here with the nice poly bushes here to fit inside there and also move across a few centimeters and bring it down a bit we then also get this nice bar here that bolts into these holes here and puts a strengthening piece underneath the gearbox so really really vital and really really nice kit for this car so once we've done that we're all ready to put the gearbox in the car no we're not more stuff to do right we're underneath alice and we're looking at the cradle now this cradle is the one that holds up the gearbox well as you can now imagine if we move this gearbox a couple of centimeters this way that cradle is now going to be in the wrong place which means that those bolt holes won't line up anymore well there's a solution to that and that solution once again comes from you guessed it shane baker uh, this kit is the cradle relocating kit these bolts here these long ones here go into the original holes that we saw in the car just a few minutes ago and these ones here are then the bolts that the cradle will then bolt into so it moves the whole cradle slightly in one direction again another beautiful kit that's cheap and easy to buy right so we can now finally put the engine and gearbox inside of alice no, we can't. Would you believe it? There's yet another problem. And that problem is these things. It's the drive shaft. Now this is the drive shaft for the right hand side of the car. As we're going to move the gearbox and the engine a couple of centimeters that way, it means that this drive shaft is now too short. So it won't fit. It also means that the other drive shaft on the other side is then too long. Now, is there a simple solution to this? Yes, of course there is. Yeah, the solution is dead simple. Well, it's not dead simple, no. Uh, nothing's dead simple with this build as I thought it was gonna be from the beginning. But one of the drive shafts is easier than the other one. Now, the drive shaft I just showed you is from 
the Mark 1 Fiesta, which is too short. Um, now, the Mark 2 Fiesta has a right-hand drive shaft that is roughly two centimeters longer. So that fits perfectly. All you have to do is get hold of a right-hand drive shaft for a Mark II Fiesta and it'll fit perfectly. Problem solved on that side. Now the left-hand side, this is where it starts to get a bit more tricky. The left-hand side is obviously now too long, since as we're moving everything to the left slightly. Uh, so what we need is a drive shaft that fits a Mark I Fiesta XR2. Now, even in England, they are pretty much like hen's teeth. In Sweden, they're like left-handed chicken's teeth, again. Well, one person, again, springs to mind and solves the problem, and that, of course, is Shane Baker. He does a kit with both the drive shafts that fit straight in there. They are, I think they're brand new. He makes them, the shafts themselves brand new, and then brand new uh, CV joints as well. So, a really good kit, and it solves the problem. So, once we've got over that little hurdle, we're now ready to put the engine and gearbox inside the Mark 1 Fiesta. So, now we've got all those hurdles out of the way, we are actually ready to start putting the engine and the gearbox inside the Mark 1 Fiesta. Uh, as I said to you in the beginning of the first film, these, all these hurdles were nothing I had planned. Uh, I had no idea of any of this and that's why I wanted to make this video. So if you like what you've seen in this video and you want to see the next video, uh, which is going to be the last video in this series, uh, before I start pulling the engine out and putting all these parts inside the car um, for real. <laughs> now, I'm just talking about it, I haven't done it yet and I'm going to do it. Um, so if you like what you've seen in this video, put me some comments down in the bottom, press that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot and bye-bye. Put me some comments down in the bottom, press that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, and bye-bye.